What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. This channel is all about a smarter and more sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys like myself. I'm 41 years old and I'm still practicing uh, martial arts. It's more specifically judo, that's my thing, right? I've done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu before also, done wrestling. I still do wrestling actually. And uh, brown belt in judo, going for the black belt, and uh, a world title hopefully right as soon as all this is over with so okay let's get started um, in today's video I want to talk about the importance of warming up when you're older it's important to take your time to warm up properly you can't get away with just warming up for maybe five minutes ten minutes especially when you're practicing a sport like a contact sport like judo wrestling or jiu-jitsu and I find that that's where a lot of us go wrong we don't take enough time to warm up and then after that we end up getting injured right so the, the importance of warming up is really for injury prevention there's an ideal time there's a minimum time and there's what i do <laughs> so let's talk about the ideal here right so the ideal time is 20 20. Uh, the first 20 minutes is warming up the la the other 20 minutes is for the cool down but in this video we're just going to talk about the warm up because i don't want it to get uh, to be too long so ideally you warm up for 20 minutes but when i say warm up i mean really warm up it's not just breaking a little sweat it means sweating a lot a lot right and one good rule of thumb is that if you're able to get your heart rate up to the, to its maximum right at least two times then you're good, especially if you're older, because if you're older like me, then you probably have accumulated a lot of injuries. It's not something you should play around with. And one suggestion that I have is that if, you, if you're at a club where they warm up, but they don't really do a, a strong enough warm up, right? Then I suggest you take even some extra time, talk to the coach, tell them, hey, listen, uh, you know, I got some injuries. I want to warm up a little bit more. I'm sure the coach is going to be fine with that. It's not a problem, but you really got to warm up. Okay, so uh, ideally 2020, right? So at least 20 minutes of warm up. Uh, the minimum, like the minimum you should do is 10 minutes. But really, I feel as though 10 minutes, if you're doing something like lifting weights, you can get away with it. But if you're gonna do something where there's a lot of contact and physical effort, and there's actually higher risk of injury because it's dynamic, right? Then you should definitely go for at least 20. So me, myself, when I, when I go to do my judo and wrestling, it's 30 minutes. We warm up for 30 minutes and it's done properly. I've been to a, a lot of judo clubs, guys, and uh, different jiu-jitsu clubs too. And honestly, this judo club here, I really like the way they warm up. They, they play a game called um, uh, Piggy. We warm up for 30 minutes playing this game, right? And this game is actually, it's fun and it's functional at the same time. But after 30 minutes, I'm, I'm really warm. I'm sweating, um, everything's warmed up, you know, and I I've, haven't I've had any injuries since, uh, since I've been warming up this way, okay? And actually, I've had an injury, but that's a different story. And then the 10 minute cool down at the end, because, you know, I, the thing with me is that once we finish, I take about 10 minutes to, uh, to do something else, you know, to, to practice a couple of things, to walk around. And then from there, I stretch out a little bit, but then I go home and then I have to walk my dog. So that pretty much serves as my cool down too. So this is actually respected here, even more so, right? So it's probably something to the effects of 30-30 in my case. Now, I wanna give you guys an example to, to, to ch try to drive the point home, right? If you have a Porsche, so that would be a high performance car, right? So if you're driving a high perfor performance car, blah, blah, swallowing my words a bit, what you should do is that if you had this thing parked outside overnight in the middle of winter, and then the next morning you, you know, jump in the car, and you're not just gonna stick the key in the ignition, turn it, and then gun it right away, right? You might get away with it for a little while, but you're really gonna mess up the, the, well, the, the Porsche. And so you don't do that. Like high performance cars, like for example, a Porsche, usually a Porsche wouldn't be parked outside, okay? I know that, I understand that. But even if it was parked inside a garage and it's cold outside, right? Guys usually have some kind of engine heater to keep the engine warm, right? To warm up the engine. And then after that, they put the key into the ignition and then turn on the engine, 
right? So you see how there's a whole process to it. I'm not sure if it's done with Porsche, but I remember reading it, it's done with like F1, Formula One cars, and I think Porsche too. So anyways, I'm just, it's just an analogy, guys. You guys get what I mean, right? So you wouldn't do that to your, to your Porsche, uh, so you shouldn't really do that with your, your body either, right? Your body is, well, you kind of stuck with it. You should treat it uh, nicely. It's, it's your temple, right? So definitely that's why you want to warm up properly. Okay, and now, okay, I'm going to explain how I do the, the judo warm up. So we play this game called Piggy. I know it sounds funny. I didn't, make, I didn't make up the name, guys. We have two teams, we split up. So if we're 10, we'll split up 5-5 five, five or whatever. And on each side, okay, I didn't draw that out, but let's say on my left side here, okay, I have like the goal. And we set up a goal here, we set up a goal here. And then from there, we have a ball, a, uh, I don't know what kind of ball it is. It's, it's not a lacrosse ball, it's not a tennis ball, but some kind of semi-hard, soft kind of ball taped up. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll find out tonight. I'll let you guys know next time. And what it is is that we have to throw, when you have the ball, you can't move, right? You, I mean, you can't, you can't walk or run with the ball. You have to throw it, you have to pass it or try to score with it. So you throw it towards the, uh, the, the goal. And the thing with the goal is that just a little detail, it has to bounce off the floor and then go into the goal. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. And when somebody has the ball, you can essentially tackle them, throw them, grab them, you know, do whatever you want. So we're, we're essentially grappling, but we're playing with a ball and we have, you know, goals uh, that we, we're trying to score. So it starts off nice, right, and smooth, but then as it picks up, I mean, people start tackling each other, takedowns, single legs, trips, all kinds of stuff, you know, and it's coming from all angles. Of course, we're careful. We're not, um, we're not there to, to, to concuss each other or get hurt, but sometimes it does, once we pick up, you know, after about the first 10, 15 minutes, oh man, then it's fun. Cause it's a lot of stop and go, stop and go, and you get to wrestle and you get to, uh, to grapple at the same time. So it's really fun. And then by the time that's done, we do that for about 30 minutes and man, it's, it's an amazing warm up. Cause after that, I'm really warm. I go about my business and yeah, man, no injuries. Now I did mention I got an injury, uh, a slight injury, something with my knee, um, but that was due to, to randories, right? So when you do randories sometimes, and I was, uh, I was going at it with a guy who's about 200 pounds and he's a yellow belt. And that's what usually what happens when you go with heavier guys uh, who are uh, beginners, right? Is that they're really strong, but sometimes they don't understand maybe the positioning of the legs and what they should be doing, where they should force and where they shouldn't force. Now, there's no limit to how much, oh, there is a limit. I mean, don't warm up for an hour, right? If I'm not warm, I'm not ready. And if I'm not ready, I ain't fighting, <laughs> or I ain't doing anything crazy. I'll just continue warming up. If you're my age, you understand your body and you know what's good for it, what's not good for it, how, it's, how it works, if you're warmed up, warm up warmed up enough or not. So I think it's important for you, for us to take it into our own hands, to take ownership, responsibility of our own bodies. And one of the things that we have to do is warm up properly, right? Cause no one's gonna, you know, if you just go into a class and, and the coach is just like, yeah, light warm up, jump around 15 minutes, uh, do a couple of uh, rolls on the ground, this and that. Nah, man, it might, it might be okay for uh, young cats, you know, guys who are in their twenties, and stuff like that, but if, you, if you're older like me, and um, even if you've been doing it for a while or you're, you're new to uh, grappling, like you really gotta take the time to warm up. So that's it for this video, guys. Like the video, subscribe, and of course, uh, comment down below. What do you think? How do you guys warm up? How long do you take to warm up? And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. And of course, a big shout out to my video editor, uh, Christian Pham, right? So you guys can follow him at uh, CK Familia. Yeah, he's my boy, man. So he's taking care of my video editing. So that's why you guys are getting better quality videos, editing, editing out like a lot of the redundancies and, and, and quirks or whatnot that you had to deal with and my rants and stuff like that from before. See you guys in the next one. Peace.